Welcome back to another Wednesday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Wednesday host, Yekka, and this week we are talking about star seeds. Now, I've got to admit, that was not a term I was familiar with, and I didn't do a lot of research on it for this video. I looked it up, uh, saw its Wikipedia page, saw the first few entries, and went, okay, I have a sense of the type of thing this is, not the details of it, but the general category this is part of. And from the very quick research I did, what came up, my understanding, is that the idea of star seeds is that they are beings, people, folks, um, things, or souls that come from beyond Earth, maybe beyond Earth as in from other planets, from other galaxies, or from other dimensions, other universes, but that they are not terrestrial in origin, that these souls aren't, and that they have come to Earth and are occupying a body, that they are souls in, in a body or something like that. So it's, so what to say about that? Well, first, I don't believe in souls. I think that that the physical and the spiritual are not two separate things. I think that this is us. And I think that we are stardust in the sense that our bodies are made, the, the elements that make up our body, with the exception of the hydrogen and uh, maybe some of the helium, were made by stars. We're made in the bellies of stars. We're made during their explosions um, and the life and the death of them. And many generations of stars that it took to be able to form the cloud of gas and dust that made the sun, that made Earth, and thus us. I don't think that we live on planet Earth. I think that we are planet Earth. We're pieces of planet Earth. So we're stardust in that way. And I, I think that that there isn't a soul that continues on past the death of our bodies. That our bodies, that we are a community. We are a community of cells and of other organisms too that don't share our DNA of our microbiome. We are a, a community of that, a pattern. And those pattern, the, the whole pattern is constantly being shifted and changed in its individual little pieces. In those individual little pieces, the cells grow and die and the material that makes up those cells is replaced. And that material, that's the material I'm talking about that comes from the stars. So, the, the idea of a star seed is not particularly useful in my framework. And I have to be honest that concepts like this and indigo children and things like that kind of bug me a little bit. You know, I don't mind if that's something that somebody else wants to do. But for me, it, it kind of sounds a little bit like it's coming from a place of not really valuing earth that like earth isn't enough that that we have to come up with some way that we're special some other way instead of being special based on the crazy unlikely existence that we have or being special based on our deeds um and i understand that it could feel empowering to have this interesting you know fancy background and all of that. Um, but I just don't, kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't really, I don't really connect with that. So um, again, it's, you know, it's not a, to me, I'm not particularly bothered if somebody else chooses to do it that way, but it doesn't really fit in with my idea of, um, of the earth being sacred, us being part of the earth, us being part of the solar system, the galaxy, us that that here is wonderful, here is sacred, the down to earth, the dark 
the earth, the grittiness, the the soil, all of this stuff is sacred, um, and that we don't need some to be from some higher plane to be to be important. Um, so yeah, that is that's my take this week, um, and we have some more pretty interesting topics coming up this week, this uh, month. So I look forward to sharing those with you. Okay, take care.